Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trailmakers. So this game has just got an update. If we head into single player, look, this is new. The high seas. And the devs very kindly gifted me this DLC. I thought I might find it interesting and I think I'm probably going to agree. So yes, thank you devs for the key for the DLC. Very, very kind of you. Now, I've seen a few screenshots of this. Unfortunately, as they gave me the key, it was just as I buggered off for my Christmas vacation. So I've been, I've been sitting the other side of the country tree playing super auto pets pretty much daily uh, sort of willing to get back and play this so this is a whole new island it looks like oh look waves yeah so i saw a screenshot of like a massive wave and like a boat flying on it oh sunset but yeah so i don't know if this is like a new sort of campaign sort of thing the cutscene i just had said we've got to we've got to take some stuff over those blue things but first a huge thanks to the guys over at keeps for sponsoring today's video now listen stats don't lie and they say two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And whilst hard hats are a good way to hide it, they're not suitable for all occasions. And you may get even more funny looks than you would have otherwise had. So if you still have hair and you're worried about losing it, prevention is key. Keeps offers a clinically proven full treatment to prevent hair loss. So when you remove your hard hat, in areas where it's safe to do so, you could look like this rather than like this. With Keeps, you get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's office or pharmacy. And all treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. If you subscribe to Keeps and get refill reminders, you'll never run out either. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com forward slash real civil engineer or click the link in my description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash real civil engineer. Thanks once again to the guys at Keeps for sponsoring today's video and keeping my head less shiny than my hard hat. But let's get back to the video. Oh look, I've, I've gone in here. Anyway, out of there. Right, so we've got to we've got to build, as you know, in this game. Is this what we're trying to take? So we've got these totems here. It's a mystic blue statue that floats on the water. And as you can see by the arrow, we've got to get it over there. Now it's quite light. I can sort of move it about pretty easily. But uh, let's let's build something to help us. So if we press B, we're in the build mode. Oh, and they finally added mirror mode. So now we can like build two things at once if we want to mirror them. That's very very useful. Cool. All right, so looks like we have, we have we got loads of stuff here. I feel like this is like the campaign, but everything's unlocked. Interesting. Okay, so if we, we just have a little explore and see what there is. Oh yeah, look, we've got sails because I think there's wind now. Oh, there's now sloping cheap. I feel like they might be new. Uh, logic, I feel like they're the things that are too clever for me. Just a mere civil engineer. Ah, oh, good. The concrete wall dispenser is back. What's this? Dynamite and anchors. Are they, is this all new? I swear, like, I feel like this is all new. Oh, here we go. And loads, loads of whole pieces. So to start then, I probably want something floaty. So if we do a few of you, we can do those on the side. Oh man, there's so many blocks. Look how many options we got now. A couple of those, one over this side. I think we'll put these ones in the corners. Yeah, you can see they've got like a rounded corner. So that's pretty good. Copy a few more of these. I think I want that one over here. Right, so nearly there. I've noticed this down here, the tractor beam. So if we have one of them, that will spawn a tractor, which will plow the land, plant a load of crops, and we can sell the crops to the villagers and do all the stuff. Uh, no, not really. It's like, it's like a proper tractor beam, like space style. So if I shove that on the corner, that should attract it to me. Do I need wheels to get into the sea? Probably. Right, so let's try this then. So how do I turn the tractor beam on? Space. There you go. We've got it. Oh, what is this? Uh, we, we've we've grounded out. All right, plan two. We roll this into the sea because it floats. And then we repair our vehicle. And then we realize we, we've only got wheels. So we're just floating away. <laughs> Oh, why am I so bad at this? Boats, man. Right, but we can get rid of the wheels now. We don't need wheels where we're going. We can probably get rid of that as well. I sort of want a crow's nest. So can we put that on some sort of a pole? Here we go. Now we're cooking on gas. We'll shove that up there. Uh, then we need some sort of steering mechanism. I'd love to do a sailboat, but I feel like that's probably a bit beyond me at the moment. Aha, but we can use this, an outboard boat engine. Does this steer? If we go into configure, we've got forward and backwards, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to have to 
put that on some sort of steering thing. So how do we make a steering thing? Let's head into mechanic. And then I guess we just want like a large hinge or a steering hinge. Yeah, let's do a large hinge like there and shove that there. Ideally in the middle of the boat would be useful, Matt. So now that we got A and D. Yep. And the outboard motor, we got W and S. Okay, cool. So let's head back to our boat. <laughs> Look how tall we are. Oh, nice. And we're actually steering. Although I've just remembered we don't have a tractor beam. Oops. Let's head to the back of the boat. What I was actually thinking, I could do like one engine there and one over there. And in the middle, do our tractor beam. All right. These actually want to go the other way around. So left is D and right is A. That makes a lot more sense. All right. And then tractor beam on. Oh, there's still one on the side. Let me just get rid of that one on the side. It's annoying me. All right. And we are away. We're in our first ever boat. It's a very strong looking boat. Oh, I went the wrong way. We've gone way past it. We're drifting. This actually steers all right, you know. All right. One artifact fact in the bank baby okay let's open the map is it gonna tell us oh wow oh god it's like wind and everything Ooh, see, yeah, there's loads of wind. It looks like there's like some sort of tornado y thing going on in the middle. Hey, look, it's Nemo. I found Nemo. Come back. Let's go find some more blobs. There's going to be one in this cave, surely. If I know anything about game design, it's that they hide things in caves. Look, there it is. If I can reverse my testicles up there. Oh, no. My stick. No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what's going on? Oh, wow. That was unexpected. I did not think I would be spawning at the bottom of the ocean. Right, turn that on. We can't get too close. It's seems. Yeah, we can't quite get it. Damn it. Come on. Yes, have we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes, we've got it. The mystic blue statue. Okay, so now we just got to head back from where we came from, which is easier said than done. Considering this is the most efficient shaped boat possible, I thought it would handle a little bit better. It's all right in the open seas, but trying to navigate caves is a bit tricky. All right, that's another artifact in the bank. Where do we head now? Oh, look, we've got some waves coming. Oh, <laughs> Ready? Ready? Get some air. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, my. Can you imagine being the captain up the top? <laughs> Look at him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Yo, he's not up the top anymore. He's at the bottom. Why did you spawn me like that game? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh. What's happened here? We're trapped. Oh, and I can't build because I'm airborne. Find flat ground to build. Um... I'm trying. No seat available. Okay. We've broken the game already, mate. What's that all about? Oh, what? What's that behind him? What is that? Okay. I might have to build a plane and go see what that is. Um, but yeah, we're broken. Can we... Oh, look. There's another statue over there on the island. Can we fast travel anywhere? There we go. Oh, poo. I've like stopped in time just before I hit the ground. There's nowhere else we can travel to. Okay. We're going to have to restart. <laughs> Yay, we're back in the water. All right, in build mode, I have just noticed in blueprints, it's got all my other things. So look, Snake Dog is back and Sub Dog is back. And I have built some weird ass vehicles. Dancing on ironic ice. The Pupperoo. The Robert. The Heli Dog. Oh, and the Brone. Oh, and the Submer Speed. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go with the trusty Sub Dog or Snake Dog. I'm going to go Snake Dog, I think. Oh, yes. Yes, that's, that's what I wanted. Cheers, game. Right, okay. So we're going to go find the one that was on... Oh, careful, careful, Matt. Careful. Ca roll over. That's it. That's it. So screw you, road. Oh, I can't... <laughs> I just flattened it with sub dog. Sneaked... Oh, there's loads of them. There are loads of them. <laughs> oh, look. They're mating. They're in a mating ritual. They're distracted. Come on, Matt. You can get them. Screw you. <laughs> oh, run over three chickens. It's a challenge. All right, so the one on the island is over there. Oh, God. We are... We are flying over the waves. Ready? Jump! We landed on the island. And now we track to that in. And then we're taking it back to the blue thing. Oh, this is just like the campaign. I haven't even completed the campaign yet. There's still videos going up of like my streams where I was playing that. In fact, I may have just spoiled them by showing you some vehicles from it. But for now, Snake Dog has delivered once again. Nice. And did I see on the map? It's sort of... Yeah, look, there's one there. Altitude minus six meters. So if we go leftish, we might have to change to sub dog to drop underwater. Is that it down there? All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go to build and we'll put sub dog in. All right, so now we're in sub dog. It's like the same vehicle with the super efficient steering, but we can now sink. If I can remember what button it was. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So there's the priceless Ming vase. Oh, we've just knocked it off. All right. We've nearly got it. All right. We've got it. We've got it. All right. So now we can inflate. And then, yes, look. You might think we're upside down, but no, we're, we're going the right direction, sort of. 
corkscrewing, doing it in style. There you go, artifact collected. It's like I know what I'm doing. I'm steering properly. This is how all submarines steer. Right, so it looks like up there there's another one. So we want to go right-ish and up there. Okay, so right ish so over in this direction oh, look, a treasure chest do you reckon there's treasure in it shall we go down and have a look whoa can i collect treasure oh yes look what was that did i get that i may have got something yep i think i got it right anyway distracted let's go get this second artifact from under the water so we're very close now you can see on the map it's just to our right can't really see where it is so let's just drop so we'll deflate our pontoons and down we go. Ooh, nice, a shipwreck. Oh no, we've we flipped over. <laughs> Is that it there? That blue blob? Oh no, apparently not. Okay, let's inflate again. Right, we should be right on it. Does that mean it's like under the ship? I just killed myself. Oh no, I've... <laughs> We're rolling down. Oh, no. Sub dogs floating to the surface. And we're just trapped in this ball. It's like one of those Jurassic Park gyro ball things. All right, deflate. Right. Okay, now we're driving on the bottom. This is what we wanted. We just got to find out where it is. Is it under there? It might be under there. That's going to be a hell of a squeeze. All right, we're under. Oh, man. How tight do you want this place to be? Which architect designed this? Oh, I can see the vase, though. Can you see the vase up there? All right, if we... Maybe if we like float a bit. Yeah, we might rotate. There we go. We're through. We're sort of through. Right, we're in. <laughs> we're in. Can you imagine like <laughs> if you were like trapped in this shipwreck and then this was our like survival team. You're like, I'm saved. And then you see this. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite saved, am I? Right, float again, Matt. That's it. That's it. Right, we're going to repair here. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> what the hell? Was that a sonic boom? I think we just sonic boom there. I can hear like the sonic boom sounds. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're back. So yeah, I should have just grabbed it from this end. Much easier. Although we don't have an even amount of pontoons. So we are a little bit wonky. But it's, it's all good. It's all good. This is the, the falling leaf tactic that we've used previous to get to the surface. And then we just head over to the blue thing. All right, really got to aim to not die here. Right, perfect, perfect. Cheese it. Oh, we're actually doing all right, you know. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing, but it's just it's just super efficient engineering. If you don't need to steer, you don't need to steer. All right, so that was, that was fun and all. We got five artifacts. I do want to have a go at building something new, as good as the sub dog is. I was quite enjoying having a go with the old, like, new pieces, like the crow's nest. So I'm sort of thinking, why don't we make a massive sailboat? Now, I have no idea how sailboats work, but to start, I think we'll go with a low of these so that's bang in the middle nice right so we want to get hydrodynamic here so we're going to come into the aerodynamic blocks we're going to go to the yeah here we go all right now you might think looking at the front of this boat i have no idea what i'm doing i've never seen a boat before that is not going to be hydro or aerodynamic however look yes the game doesn't care about things like that it just cares about is there a strong slope so front of that boat fantastic next we need propulsion so let's head into lift and drag and let's see what these sails look like that's a big pointy one one. That's a big square one. Okay, looks like we've got all sorts of shapes. Do they turn? Well, they might turn. So if we put a load of these down. All right, there we go. <laughs> all the sails. Uh, next, we just need the old crow's nest. So I'm going to delete a sail or two from the middle. I'm going to put that up there. Maybe not too high. Maybe not too high, Matt. Let's be sensible about this. And crow's nest up there. Right, now we've got some issues. We've got some things that aren't connected. Why are you guys not connected? Okay, very randomly, some of these are unconnected. Probably have to do a bit more research to see how these work. But we'll just delete the ones with exclamation marks. All right, and then we're good. Oh, I see. My... <laughs> that wasn't connected. No, 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 no. Where's my ship going? My ship's buggering off. No. Oh, don't say all that work is gone. All right, okay, we're back. We're back. So it appears my my mast wasn't connected. Yeah, look, it was too high. It's got to go down to there. No, they still don't work. Interesting. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, that didn't work too well. Let's repair. What is going on? What have I created? All right, we're up. We're upright. We're, we're not upright. Okay, I'll tell you what. I think I need to add some weight to the bottom. So back to the builder. What I'm thinking is we build underneath a bit. Because I did see some weights about. Where were they? Here we are in balance. 
So if we add some weight blocks, we basically want like a ridge down the middle. If we go on to the super aerodynamic blocks, I think I want one of those underneath. Yeah, so a line of two. I like that. Okay. All right. Then we just fill the rest in with normal blocks. All right. So now we've got that. Now I think our weight can sort of go in the middle. So if we rotate that bunker under there, we'll do just a few like in the very middle of the ship. So you don't want it to rock forwards or backwards. So maybe like five, maybe another one, six. All right, that sort of looks good. And then if we want to try and get some steering, it looks like the sails don't move. So we're going to need our own sort of steering thing out the back. Here we go, a large paddle. So if we rotate that to be that orientation, move it down to the bottom. We probably want a steering hinge. Yeah, if we do a large hinge, we can get two side by side. We'll connect that, copy another one. So in order for our boat to go left, yeah, so I think we need to swap those around. So that needs to be D and that needs to be A. Same with the top one, D and A. Oh no, we're so... <laughs> That's better. That's way better. Oh man, I think we need to build that weight thing. Oh god. Yeah, this, this doesn't seem to be working as I thought it would. <laughs> I think we need to build our weights like way deeper. So let's delete those. And then literally, let's just go like straight down. Like I've seen this before on ships. They always have this bit underneath, don't they? I feel like I'm going to get slaughtered in the comments for what I've done so far. <laughs> I am legit trying, I swear. All right, so with that down there, now if we put some weights on the bottom. So these are the heavy weight block. They're double the size, 50 kilograms compared to the normal weight block. Well, if you, if you round, not quite double, 30 and 50, but you know what I mean, right? Um... Still pretty sideways. I feel like we might just need more more weight. Maybe I didn't realize how buoyant we are. All right, there you go. That's that's a lot of weight now. They're 50 kilograms each. Uh, it's a bit better. We're nearly a ship. <laughs> Actually, have we done it? Yes, look. It's working. It's working. We got waves coming broadside. We got to turn. I'm trying to turn, but it's not turning. Oh, actually, is it? Oh, that's what left and right does. Can you see that sail is going in and out? I see, said the blind man. Okay, I understand now. All right, let's go back to build then. So basically, I don't want I don't want these ones. I think all the other ones don't do anything. If we go onto that, yeah, they're not set to anything. So the sails won't move. So if we grab one of these, I'm sort of thinking if we rotate it, we have a mix of different orientations. All right, a load of sails. All right, and we're back. We're back. Oh, look, we're actually moving. I've done it. I've only gone and done it. And I can steer a bit. Oh, God, there's some big waves over there. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. This thing really wants to lean over. I think it's because the wind's coming from that direction. If I go right, so the wind's behind me. And this is a really cool game, like fair play. Whoa, look under there. Big old wheels. Look at this, though. It's a beaut. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shallow rocks. Shallow rocks. Turn. Turn. <laughs> right, we just about avoided them, I think think. Yeah, looks like we're fine. And why is the sea so slopey? What the shit is down there? Oh God, is this like a giant whirlpool? Uh, guys? <laughs> oh no, our rudder's gonna hit that. It's not, it's not a rudder. You know what I mean? I think we're sucked into the whirlpool. Oh my God, it's got teeth. It's got teeth. Mind that rock. Oh, oh no, we are going down. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> my first ever sail. Oh crap. We are proper going down. Mind your head, mate. Oh, I just knocked it. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> right, repair, repair. We repaired. No, we didn't repair. Repair! Oh, no. We're in the teeth. Right, we're back. We're back in the safety of our boat. It's definitely safe. And we died. <laughs> oh, man. Right, well, this this game was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm going to enjoy playing this, I think. If you want to see more of me trying to conquer the seas in, uh, well, what the hell do you call it? Is this a sailboat? I've just, I've just gone a bit mental, haven't I? But yeah, if you have enjoyed, guys, boost your like button and we'll get straight back to it. But yeah, anyway, guys, peace, love and over-engineered sailboats. Catch you guys next time. Bye.